welcome back. All right, so uh, some more signings to talk about from the National Hockey League today. Nothing major. Uh, most of the major signings, of course, that can be made by the teams that are really active right now have been done. Uh, there are some big names that are still out there, but of course, there's a limited number of teams that can make those moves. Plus, there may be some teams looking to make trades to get some more cap space so they can take a run at some of those remaining players. Uh, Leah Anderson signs a one-year contract with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, it's a two-way deal, pays 775000 at the NHL level and 450000 at the AHL level. Uh, Matthew Phillips has signed a contract with Washington. So he toiled in Calgary's AHL system for a while. Uh, there's still some belief for some that he has NHL upside. He has a one-year contract with the Capitals worth league minimum. So we'll see whether or not the Capitals got themselves a steal there. Jordan Osterley signs with the Calgary Flames. It's a one-year deal, $925,000 for him. He was part of Detroit's blue line last season. He has been around the league a bit. Uh, but Osterley gives them some good depth. And there's a lot of depth signings going on today. I'm just highlighting the ones that I think are of interest, including Gavin Bayreuther going back to the Dallas Stars. Uh, one-year contract for $775,000. I like Bayreuther as a depth defenseman. I always have. Uh, I'm glad Dallas is getting him back, and we'll see how the season goes for him in Dallas. Uh, Jack Johnson is returning to the Colorado Avalanche, so they will not be out of Johnson's. Uh, Eric left. Jack was a free agent, and I thought, well, they won't have a Johnson on the blue line, but they will. Jack will be on the defense. Uh, one year for him, $775,000. Now, an interesting news bit that's out there, and Bruce Garriott uh, retweeted this out himself. Uh, the Sens. So the discussion of Alex Dabrinkit and what's going on with Alex Dabrinkit, apparently the Senators went to Dabrinkit's agent and said, we'd like to have a list of teams that he'd be willing to sign with long term. Five teams were provided to the Ottawa Senators to negotiate with. The Sens found two of those teams were not interested and the other three teams that he was willing to sign long term with we're not willing to commit a long-term contract to Dabrinkit either. So this is a problem where the teams that he's willing to go to, they have not been able to work out any kind of a deal with the Ottawa Senators. And it makes you wonder how long this could go. This is one of those things where he has certain places he wants to go and Ottawa is not able to make deals with those places. What happens then? Does he sign a one-year deal with Ottawa and then work on an extension somewhere else? Uh, that's the question mark, right? So for Dabrinkit, he's still kind of out there. And we'll see how long he's out there, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Uh, I'm going out today. We're doing a meetup in Coquitlam. So maybe while I'm out playing street hockey, we'll see trades and stuff happen. It does happen at times, right? Uh, so looking forward to that. And if anything does take place, I will be back here to do more news videos and things of that nature when I get home. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Do hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.